Good evening, it's uh, Pedro from the community group. How are you going? I'll make your video answering uh, DJ Vinyl Vertigo Scott's uh, Soul Tag for 2024. Uh, it took a bit of thinking, but uh, I think I've worked out some good answers here for this thing. So without further ado, we'll get on with it. My most listened to Soul Record, and thinking hard, looking hard about this, it's going to be Stevie Wonder. It's going to be one of, one of two albums. I think I tend to listen to both of these equally, Illumisions and a Talking Book in Illumisions. It's Illumisions and Talking Book. Right. Uh, I tend to listen to both of these, maybe more so that than that, but they're both brilliant albums um, in their own way. Uh, it was, of course, at the time when Stevie had taken control of his career. I'd be turned 21, and uh, Motown had signed into a new contract, and he had full creative control. And this was a run of four albums, actually, and then there was a, a break due to a car accident he's had, in, which led up to 1976, and Songs That Keep Life, which I'll mention a bit later on. But yeah, I'd say probably, um, probably more so Inhibitions than Talking Book, but they're both equally great albums. Okay. Second album, my most recent soul purchase. And this actually only happened about a week or so back. It was really about three. I got these from a. I'd ordered these a little while ago and um, turned out to be um, pretty much the time for one of the three albums that I got. The other two were both by Sharon Jones and Dave Kings, but I wanted to show that. Pardon the glare on the cover. A sign of the time, the double LP. It's actually a. Um, a 2020 remaster, I believe, or 20, yeah, a 2020 remaster, a German press, a uh, nice heavy vinyl, very good album. This only the second Prince album I have on vinyl. Much of stuff I have on my Prince uh, compilations. I've got Purple Rain on vinyl as well as CD. I've got Diamonds and Pearls, and the Hits B-Sides, uh, triple CD. It's about the extent of what I have of Prince. I would like to actually change that and get more. Based on this album, this was this is a great album. Great, nice, funky album, indeed. Okay, so there's that. A male soul artist. And moving away from the obvious, I thought I'd go with Clarence Carter, uh, Atlantic record artist. Um, had a hit with Patches, among other things, uh, soul blues artist. The package was a big hit for him in the late 60s. Uh, yeah, so yeah, Clarence Carter. Package, that's the album there. Okay, a Stax record. The one I wanted the show was shown by someone else. I had a Sam and Dave album, uh, Hell on Common. So I thought I'd go with um, Shaft by uh, Isaac Hayes. That's actually the soundtrack, but Isaac Hayes. Uh, that's an Australian sax label right there. Just to show you that it is sax. I could have shown you a couple of things, but this is um, the uh, the Shaft album by Isaac Hayes. Okay, so next one. Soul from a non-newish artist. A lot of people have shown this, but the only one I could think of myself. Sade, Diamond Life. A sort of show day in concert when she came to Australia. Uh, rather a nice, nice show. It was actually probably held at a, a, a too big a venue though. I think she would have been better suited to a nightclub setting. Very soulful though, very uh, jazzy, smooth, um, silky sort of music. Very nice. Uh, this is pretty big hit for her. Through the product, we all know about Your Love is King as well. Um, Great version of Why Can't We Live Together. That would be your friend. Yeah, this is a, a rather nice album, indeed. Okay, what else we have? A female soul artist. And I thought I'd go with Mary Wells. We're just trying to stay out of the usual. Uh, Mary Wells had a hit with my guy, among other things. Uh, two lovers. Um... Not a lot of hits here in Australia. In fact, a lot of Motown, we didn't get 
third party a lot of Motown we didn't get here in Australia, but uh, obviously the most obvious one is My Guy, which was a huge hit to her at the time. This is a a, a mono uh, mono UK Tamil Motown that I found a little while ago. But yeah, Mary Wells, great hit. Okay. A gospel album by Soul Artist. And this is Dion Warwick, The Magic of Believing. Don't know how I came to, to have this album. I think it was actually among a bunch of albums that were given to me. Um, this is actually quite a nice album. This is an American set the record release. Uh, this is, is it mono or stereo? Looking at this, it's a stereo recording, yes. Uh, U.S. Scepter, uh, beautiful gospel recordings, um, backed by the Drinkard Singers, uh, nice, if you like, love gospel, this is actually quite a nice album to have, indeed, and Dion, we know he had a beautiful voice, yeah. Okay, uh, Blue Eyed Soul, could have gone with a, a few contenders, um, could have gone with the rascals. I've thought about them. I've thought about a few other people, uh, but all oh, notes who I've actually shown before. Uh, this is the bigger than both of us album. I think, um, I believe, it may have been a reunion. I believe they had split up for a little while and then they got back together. But this is the album that brought it back together. Back together again. Um, I'm not the wrong. Please correct me if I am. Uh, Rich Girls on this, of course. Um, back together again. So on here. Uh, great album. Great funky soul album. Indeed. Okay. It sold out as most people should know about. And I've been on a Sharon Jones kick. I mean, I don't, I don't know how well known she is in America. I believe I get the impression that she should, should people should know more about her. Uh, her and the Dap King. This is the soundtrack to the to the movie Miss Sharon Jones. I've got this on CD as well. I only picked this up. Picked this up at the same time as the uh, Prince album came. Uh, again, another great album. Another great funky album. This actually does also serve as a compilation, a greatest hits album. So um, there's things like Hundred Days, Hundred Nights on here. Um, I'll still be true when I come home. Tell me, uh, Strange to My Happiness. Uh, Mama Don't Like My Man, there's a whole lot of um, great things on here. Um, an amazing performance um, of his Eye on the Sparrow. She, there's a, a sequence in the film where she'd just had chemo and she'd gone to church and she was just singing her heart out and uh, singing and dancing her heart out. <laughs> yeah, the amount of energy this lady expended on stage and, and when she performed it was absolutely amazing. So yeah. A sad loss, unfortunately. Lost from 2016. Okay. So, I sold out a feature on a rock album. And I'm going to mention the staples who are on this, on the last side of this album, uh, singing with the band. They do a great version of The Weight. Um, a nice gospel version of The Weight with the band. Um, I believe they also sing on a couple of other tracks, but... Yeah, but particularly um, the weight on this album, the last waltz of the band, the soundtrack of the film. Show a Motown record. I'm going to show this. This is the Motown story, the first decade. This is a, a, like a, a documentary type um, album. It features a whole lot of tracks. And some uh, interviews, introductions to each track by different artists that performed them. You know, Spaggy Robinson, The Marvelettes, you know, uh, Catherine Anderson, The Marvelettes, uh, talks, uh, again, like I said, Smokey, Marvin Gaye, Stevie Wonder. You know, it's rather interesting listening to this because uh, there's a lot of this stuff, again, in Australia that we didn't actually hear in Australia. Um, they're now familiar because they get played a lot. You hear them in soundtracks and stuff, but a lot of this, this stuff was unfamiliar to my ears for a while. But yeah, uh, it's interesting hearing original versions of You Really Got a Hold of Me and Talking to Shout 
and money, you're not taking shout, sorry, money really got a hold of me, please Mr. Postman, with the Beatles covered, which the first time I ever heard those songs was by the Beatles. So yeah, that's a great comp. There's actually another comp, uh, a follow-up to that, which is the first 25 years, which I found as well. And I think there may have been another one after that as well. Let's put that one back, like so. Yeah. Okay. Tell us all about deserving a box set. I don't know whether there is a box set available of Slide the Family Stone. I don't have any albums of theirs, uh, any proper albums as such. Sorry, playing up. Uh, that's the only thing I have of Slide the Family Stone. That's a, a CD called the Essential. Uh, it's part of the Essential line. Uh, if there is an al if there is a box set you can recommend, that'd be great. I prefer a, a box set of albums rather than a, a compilation box set. And there have been plenty of those uh, released of different artists. I imagine there would have been one of these as well. But yeah, I reckon Slide on the Sandwich Stone, if there isn't a box set available of of their album collection, whether it be CD or LP, I'd like to know about it. Okay. Soul Addicts are still alive. Um, an English band, the Soul Council, featuring Paul Weller. I saw them in England, I saw them here in Australia in 1985 or 86. Um, that was their debut, that was uh, a mini LP called Introduced to the Style Council. Some of you may know them, they may know the song Long Hot Summer, Head Start for Happiness, Speak Like a Child. Uh, you may know You're the Best Thing, that's uh, from the 12 inch. You may know um, Walks from Tumbling Now as well, from that album, our favourite shop. There was also another album called Cap Haverly, which I spoke about, uh, which actually I played recently, um, but that's uh, another album, which I don't have on vinyl yet, but I've got on CD. But yeah, uh, what's I'm tumbling down from here. So yeah, but uh, Paul Weller was previously in the jam. For those who may know their name, of course, he's now got a solo career, and he's performing live to this day. But yeah. That's uh, an English band that I saw. They were part of the soul, jazz, light jazz band. Very, very talented, great, great band they were at the time. Right. Uh, soul by jazz, jazz by soul artist. Okay, I can only isolate one track, and that's Contusion on Song of the Key of Life. By Stevie Wonder. It's actually an instrumental. It's sort of a, a, a funky, a funky fusion type thing. It's more jazz than soul. So I'll, I'll nominate that uh, that track. It's on this album, Song of the Key of Life. Contusion. Okay. A solo artist, a solo artist in a group, and also a solo recording. So I'm going to nominate Lionel Richie. Lionel Richie was in the Commodores, uh, like so, uh, before he went solo. Um, Commodores started to become less funkier and more ballady, um, soulful ballads. And then, of course, Lionel went on to a solo career. That's his can't, you can't Lay Down, Can't Lay Down album. I've also got Dance in the Ceiling as well. But yeah, Lionel Richie. Okay, a favourite soul song. Um, I'm going to go with Aaron Neville, Tear It Like It Is, which uh, is also one can be found on the Neville Brothers' Treacherous album. That's the, um, the studio version, the single version on here. The CD version of that album has got, the li got a live version of the song. Okay. First time I heard this song though was Heart did a version. Uh, tell it like it is. This is actually a, a hits and other stuff, uh, hits and live on here. Um, this was done, recorded in the 1980, that version. There was, a, there was also a video. The first time I ever heard the song, but uh, then I discovered Aaron Neville's 45 uh, a while ago. 
I went out buying all that sticky stuff and uh, found that one. So yeah, that's a reissue, I think. I don't think it's an original. But yeah, they're another one. Okay, a Rego by Rego uh, Soul Artist. Mm. I'm not sure how Soul Peter Tosh is. Um, I don't know a lot about about that blurred line, but uh, this is Peter Tosh. Um, this is an uh, album from Bush Doctor. Um, features a single, you've got to walk, don't look back, um, which featured a duet with Mick Jagger on here. I've also got the song the single of that. But yeah, so I, I might be blurring a line here, I'm not sure. It might be a bit of a cheat, but that's about the only thing I can really think of. Aside from Bob Marley, and maybe Jimmy Cliff. Actually, Jimmy Cliff is another one of the pretty good nominators. The harder they come. Um, I've got a, 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 a best of CD of his as well. So maybe I could put it on there too. Okay, so. And here's another blurred line thing. Um, a live soul record. Gotta go Les McCann. Les McCann may be more jazz than soul, but um, I believe it kind of um, skirts both genres. Um, it's got uh, what's going on on here compared to what, which is a famous track. Um, there's a whole lot of things. I think it, I think it actually straddles the lines of jazz and jazz and soul. So yes, yeah, so I'm gonna nominate Les McCann. This is uh, Live in Montreux. This is an album I've had for a while. Um, I think somebody gave this to me. I'm not sure. Somebody from work. Um, I'm not exactly sure how I came to have it, but um, it's a great album. I mean, it's, it's this is a jazz album, according to the inner in a sleeve, but yeah. That's kind of a, a blurred line, so maybe it's like cheap, I'm sure. Sorry. Okay, and soul compilations. This is one of the best soul compilations you've ever seen. Soul Shots. Rhino Records, this is 11 volumes, right? Actually, if I, could, if I was going to nominate Blue White Soul, I could have shown that volume. For example, had yeah, the Soul Survivors, Bob Cuban, Little Bill, the Ron Bills, Bob Brady, Dean Parrish, Billy Joe Royal, PJ Proby, Tony J. White, Roy Head, you know, the Wright, the Rascals are on here, um, Wayne Cochran, you know, there's a whole lot of things I could have, I could have nominated from that album. Uh, but this is 11 volumes of Soul. Um, Soul that isn't, notably, Soul that isn't, isn't from Motown or Atlantic. It's from a whole lot of other different labels. So that's, which is great that way, right? So you don't have, you're out of cringe and you've got some pickets and you and your uh, Marvin Gaze and those guys in here. You've got a whole lot of other people instead. A whole lot of, maybe lesser known ones, but there's a whole lot of great stuff on there. I mean, um, Billy Stewart's version of Summertime. Man, what a great, great, great track. Black Pearl by the Checkmates is on here as well. Davy Gray's in here, the in crowd. Uh, Melon Teal and Bathville Motion. Um, yeah. Bob and Earl, Harlem Shuffle. Two for the price of one, Larry Williams and Johnny Watson. Yeah, a whole lot of great, great things on here, on this series. And this is this is the first six volumes. There's actually 11 volumes of that series. It's been condensed um, on CD to about four volumes. I've got two of them, one and four. Bit hard to find the other ones, but yeah, that is a, a, a brilliant, brilliant series and a, a nice education uh, into soul music. Like I said, soul that isn't Stax or Atlantic, Stax Atlantic or Motown. So anyway, um, the last question here is tell us who your favourite soul channel is. Well, I only know one, that's DJ Vertigo. So I'm going to give a shout out to him. He's doing the start of this thing. DJ Vertigo start, Scott, I hope you've enjoy this video, um, I've accepted your challenge, uh, I'll give a shout out to yourself, I, uh, I, just, I don't know a lot of other soul channels, you probably the first one I've actually come across, but yeah, so anyway, I'll leave you guys to it, have a great night, um, I don't want to get this thing going too long, it's pushing 20 minutes now to this, so um, have a great night, great morning, great day, wherever you are in the world, 
and I shall see you later on. Later on. Bye-bye.